Hi everyone, this is Emmanuel from the Cellphos community and today I'll demonstrate how to integrate Active Directory with Cellphos Firewall. I'll first demonstrate how to add an Active Directory server for authentication, then how to import AD groups and finally how to set AD as the primary firewall authentication method. Before you begin, make sure you're on a supported version of SFOS. The steps shown in this demo use SFOS version 21. Make sure you have administrator rights to access the AD. You also need a domain user with rights to read AD group membership. Let's get started. First, add the AD server. This example will demonstrate with the domain nointerface.ca. In Sophos Firewall, navigate to Authentication, Servers, and click Add. This opens the Add External Server page, providing the configuration options for the server. In the server type, select Active Directory. Now, specify the server name. In this case, I'll name it Active Directory. And the server IP is 10.2.0.100. In connection security, there are three options. Plain text, SSL TLS or Start TLS. For SSL TLS or Start TLS, you need to install the Active Directory Certificate Services or ADCS role. In this case, use SSL TLS. For steps on issuing a certificate in your domain controller using ADCS, refer to the link in the video description. Now, to get the NetBIOS domain on your Active Directory server, go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Right-click on the domain name and select Properties. On the domain name, you'll see the NetBIOS domain name, no interface. Copy and paste it back in the Server Configuration page. Next, add the server attributes for ADS username, password, and domain name. As previously mentioned, this user must have read permissions. If you want the firewall to validate the certificate when connecting to the server, choose this option. However, you must upload the AD certificate in the firewall or the connection to the AD server will fail. If you want more information, refer to the relevant documentation. And lastly, enter the search query by selecting Add. In this case, the search query will be dc equals no interface, comma dc equals ca. Search queries must be entered in LDAP syntax. Note, make sure there are no spaces and use commas in place of periods in the domain name. To add the search query, click Add. Now click on Test Connection to validate the credentials. From the drop-down banner, you can see the test was successful. Click Save to finish the server configuration. The next step is to import AD groups. Click the import icon to launch the import group wizard. This provides a five-step guide to import your groups. Click start to begin. In step one, go to the base D and search queries drop-down and select the search query you just created. Click the next arrow to proceed. Now in step two, select the AD groups to import. Then click the next arrow again. Here, you can select the common policies for groups. Once done, click Next. In this case, Step 4 is not necessary, so the wizard tool will skip to Step 5, showing a summary of the selections for review. Everything looks fine, so click Next, followed by OK to migrate the groups to the device. Back in Sophos Firewall, go to the Groups tab to verify the recently imported AD groups. You can now set AD as the primary authentication method. Select the Services tab. In the Authentication Server list, select Active Directory and move it to the first position in the selected Authentication Server list. To create a profile on the Sophos Firewall, users must authenticate using one of the available methods. If they don't belong to a local group, they'll be automatically added to the default group, which is Open Group. Select a different default group if needed. Now click Apply followed by OK to set the authentication method. The authentication method has now been applied an Active Directory Authentication Server has been added to the various services on the page. And that covers the steps for integrating Active Directory with Sophos Firewall. I hope you found this useful. All relevant documentation for this tech bit is linked in the description. For further assistance, view and post questions on community.sophos.com and go to techbits.sophos.com for more great videos like this one.